Seven three is all about similar triangles. Anybody want to start shouting out some stuff to define a similar? Congruent angles, that's one thing. You got that awesome? Uh, the, like, they're not the same size, but they're not the same size. So, because they're not equal, what are the sides? The scale, they have the same scale factor, which means they are proportional. So, that's kind of our idea there. Same angles, different sizes most of the time. Same scale factor, which means they're proportional. So that's what we're talking about. When we did triangles, we spent a whole lot of time on those. And we looked at, since triangles were smaller, they had some unique ways to show that they were congruent. And they were kind of like shortcuts. You didn't have to have all the sides. You didn't have to have all the angles. And that's going to work for similarity as well. You remember what those shortcuts were for triangles? There are four of them. SSS is one. SAS, side angle side. Angle angle side. Angle angle side. So angle side angle. They're going to be a lot like that. And our first one is just AA. Angle angle similarity. This is going to be the easiest one to use. Because it requires the least amount of information. And you don't actually have to do anything. You got it. All you have to do is say, yes, I do. If two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then the triangles are similar. And that's all you need. Two pairs of angles that match up. An example. If I would give you these two triangles, triangles ABC and triangles DPF. Right now, I'm giving you that angle A is congruent to B, and angle B is congruent to angle E. That's a very basic example of angle A. I've got two pairs, which is enough to go ahead and conclude that triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. And just like last time, we'll call this thing on the bottom a similarity statement. When you write that, remember, it doesn't really matter how you name the first one, but the second one has to match up to it. A and D in the same spot, B and E, and C and F because those are the angles that correspond. I'm just going to look at how it's labeled to be able to come up with that. Now can you think of, why do I only have to know two of the angles instead of all of them? Because We had a third angle here before, which said, if two angles match up, the remaining pair is also going to have to because of the 180 angle. So even though it's not labeled that C is congruent to F, it has to be. So with the triangle, you only have to know two. It's okay if you know all three pairs, you just do not have to. Choose the next. And there's nothing to solve for, there's nothing to do other than look at it and say, it's angle angle, therefore they're similar. Then if it asks you to, you can write a similarity statement. And that's probably the easiest one. <coughs> angle, angle, two angles. Next one. It's going to be a little familiar. SSS, which we already know stands for. It's the same thing. Context is just a little bit different. This time, if the measures of the corresponding sides of two angles are proportional, then the triangles are similar. And I mentioned this before, it's going to be really easy to want to make them equal. And that's because we've done that a lot. When things were congruent, they were equal in measure. 
But if they are similar, the sides are proportional. So that's what you're checking. For. You don't care if they're equal or not. You care if they are proportional. Because all the sides have the same scale factor. The ratios are all equivalent. An example of this one. So look at probably the same triangles. Triangle ABC, triangle DEF. But this time, we don't know anything about the angles, but I have given you measurements for all three sides on each one. <clears throat> to check to see if these are actually proportional, am I going to do a little bit of work? Yeah. Remember how we did this last time? Okay, I could do 5 over 10, and I want to see if that equals. 8 over 16, and make sure that also equals. Does it have to look just like that? What's the other way I could have written off? Yeah, I could have had them all flipped over. We went smaller over bigger, but it's okay to do bigger over smaller if you just check it. And it makes no difference. How do you make sure that those are equal? Reduce them. What's 5 over 2, 10 become? Half. 8 over 16, and 11 over 22. So have we shown anything here? So are they similar? Yes. So I can write my similarity statement. That's the stuff that's going to come up here now. So because those were all proportional, that's true. Triangle ABC, similar to triangle DEF. It gives you the same end result, but it was a different means opposed to angle. If you look at what you're given. <coughs> so far, you can either know two congruent angles or you can have three pairs of proportional sides. Make sure you keep that in mind. The angles have to be equal. You need two pairs of those. The sides have to be proportional. So you'll actually have to check that. I already used them. Then the last option is another one that will be kind of familiar. Side angle side. We talked about before a, a fairly easy way to remember how this has to be set up. Where's the A have to be? In the middle. In the middle. Where would I not want it to be? Right. Yeah, because we don't want to write that like that. <laughs> we said, you know, angle side side, that was not a proof for congruence. I mean, it was a bad thing to write. In addition to that, it didn't work out. We've looked at examples where you had an angle of side side, but they weren't congruent. Same thing with similarity. Compared to the sides, where does the angle have to be? In the middle, in between. Same thing you can see. If the measures of two sides of a triangle are proportional to the measures of two corresponding sides of another triangle, and the angles between them are congruent, then the triangles are similar. So an example of this, kind of combining our first two, I've got two pairs of sides, but I've marked that the angles between them are similar. then you'd still need to show that the sides are actually proportional. The angles, you don't do anything with it. But the sides, you check out. You make sure 5 over 10 equals 11 over 22. 
we've already done, so I'm not going to do that again. But as long as that's what you know, that they are actually proportional, then it's valid to say the triangle is more simple. And that's your third similarity. Those are usually something that you know pretty well. You did homework problems, you did a lot of tests, so eventually we will use these in proofs a little bit. So review it real quick. First one was what? Angle, angle. angle. So how many angles? Two. Two pairs. And they have to be what compared to each other? Equal. Equal. Second one was? So how many pairs of sides? Three. And they have to be? Proportional. And then last one? Side, side. side angle, side. Where does the angle have to be? In the middle. You know that? You're good with this one. So that means you know it. So your assignment, let's see if I can write this.